Okay, so workouts need to be relatively short, 45 minutes around. Um, depending on what your goals are, this may or fit better or worse. A lot of people want to put on muscle. Even when I hear people say that they want to tone up, it means they want to put on muscle. In order to do that, you have to do a fair number of sets and repetitions per each set for each muscle group that you, you, you want to work, which is every muscle group basically your body. You're going to want to do that two or more times a week, believe it or not. How do you get all of that in in one 45-minute workout? Well, what you can do is something called supersetting. You can stack like exercises, one on top of the other, to increase your total time under tension and to work the same muscle groups for uh, more reps and more sets. So what I'm going to demonstrate here today is one for the quads, the glutes, and the hamstrings. It's two exercises. One's a sumo dumbbell squat, and then we're going to go into a regular dumbbell squat. Okay, so let's go over the formula. First, a sumo dumbbell squat. A nice and wide stance. Feet are pointed out about 45 degrees. <laughs> Tighten your core so that if you hit your stomach, it's nice and solid. Your shoulder blades are pulled together a bit. Your head straight up and down. Everything's straight. And you can imagine, I'm going to show you in a minute, you're going to be holding onto these dumbbells in front of you. And what you're going to do is you're going to sit down as low as you can. Hopefully, you can get down to parallel, so your, your thighs are parallel to the ground, as long as it's not hurting your knees or hips. And whoosh, drive up. Breathe in. Out. Whoosh, in. Out. Whoosh. You want to make sure that your knees are tracking your toes, so that they're not buckling in or pushing out as you go down. Okay? So that's the first exercise, and one thing you want to remember on it as well is that when you go down, your knees and your hips bend at the same time, and they straighten at the same time. Okay? It's not your knees first and then your hips, or your hips first and then your knees. Everything is all at once. It's the same thing for a regular dumbbell squat. Your feet would be shoulder width apart. Now you're holding the dumbbells on the outside. Everything else is the same, the core, the upper body, your neck, okay, holding them like so. And then from here, you're just going to again bend the knees and the hips at the same time. Breathe in and out. In, out, in, out. Staying on the heels for both exercises. You want to make sure you're on the heels. And the same thing applies here, right? You don't want to be bending at the knees and then the hips or bending at the hips and then the knees. It's everything bends at the same time, and then up you come. So, you're gonna start with a heavier dumbbell weight, and you're gonna do 10 to 14 repetitions for the sumo squat. And then, you're immediately gonna go into the regular uh, dumbbell squat, doing eight to 10 repetitions. So I'm gonna demonstrate the set by doing 10 repetitions of the first, eight repetitions of the second, but you wanna push yourself to get up closer to 14 on the first and closer to 10 on the second. Make sure you choose a weight that is so challenging that you can get to the 10 repetitions in the sumo squat, but you actually can't complete 14. You go to failure. And then immediately, without a rest, you grab the other dumbbells, lighter dumbbells, and you begin the uh, regular dumbbell squat. And you've chosen a weight, hopefully, that allows you to do eight reps, but won't let you do more than 10 reps. You want to be exhausted and your legs want to feel like they're on fire afterwards, okay? So, you breathe in as you go down, out as you come up, keep everything tight. Here's what it looks like. 10 reps of the first, and then eight reps of the second, okay? So I'm gonna hold them together like this. Alternately, I can hold onto one dumbbell if I like, but I like doing it like this, and I'm gonna go down, up, in, out, my hips go back, hips come forward, that's three, staying on my heels, five reps, six reps, seven reps, spine staying straight, I'm looking down at the ground actually, I don't have my head cranked back like this, that's eight, nine, 10, good, now I should be utterly exhausted by this point. I'm not using dumbbells for me that are heavy enough to do that, but I'm gonna immediately go into the next one. I breathe in and out, in, out, in, out, in, out. That's 
five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm going to be a lot more exhausted if I'm doing this set right when I'm doing this just for demonstration purposes. Sumo squat, dumbbells, 10 to 14 repetitions, right into the regular squat, dumbbells, 8 to 10 repetitions. And you're only going to rest about 80 or 90 seconds before you go and do it again. So you can see how you can get a lot of sets and reps in in a 45 minute time period if you package it properly. Okay? So dumbbell, sumo squat, superset immediately with a dumbbell squat, a regular squat. 